Welcome to another New Testament Key Word Bible Study. Now, before I introduce the word, I know some of you are probably already laughing at my shirt. Well, I recorded this video on the day of Epiphany 2021, and I just thought it would be very appropriate on a day of light and illumination. So, with that out of the way, the key word for today is kaleo, um, which means call, to call. The key passage that we're using is the one in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. We are called into fellowship with Jesus Christ. The foundational sense of the word kaleo in the New Testament is God's call to share in the divine life given to humanity by Jesus Christ. Powerful phrase. The term is further elucidated, I think, by Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15, where Christians are referred to as those who have been called to a divine inheritance. In other words, there's a future waiting for you. The biblical concept used in scriptures, meaning call, is a special call, and it has a wide variety of meanings. First of all, a call to share in God's divine life already mentioned, a call to a divine inheritance in the future, to be called by name. In other words, God knows your name. To be called or sent for, to select or choose as Jesus did in Luke chapter 6, when he called the twelve to call someone, to leave something behind, to come and stand at the side of the one who calls you. It might take a minute for that image to, to sit in, but if you think about how Jesus called the fishermen to leave their nets, how Matthew was called to leave his work, his occupation, and come and stand with Christ. To call aside so that you can be comforted and consoled. Um, a deep example of that is in Luke chapter 2 where Simeon was waiting for the calling of Israel to be by God's side, so that they can receive consolation. A call to pay attention. Moses, for example, in the burning bush. The child Samuel being called by an audible voice late at night. You know, the Apostle Paul refers to Kaleo 29 times in the New Testament, almost always with a sense that Kaleo has a divine purpose. Most biblical scholars would agree that Kaleo is a call from God that comes from the heart of God that it has an expectation, a sense that you're being called into service, that you're being called into sacrifice, that you're being called into a dedication. In the early church, the leaders identified the role of the Holy Spirit as calling people calling them 
because there is a purpose for their life. Calling them to teach them. Calling them to comfort them. And calling them to commission them to go out into the world serving Christ as ambassadors. Also at the time of Jesus, the word paraclete, which was derived from kaleo, was applied to legal counsel or advocates who were able to give assistance and comfort to people who may have been before a court of law or even who were going through tragic times. In John chapter 2, verse 1, the author refers to the Spirit as the paraclete, an advocate, who actually argues the case of humanity before God the Father. And that's why you read in John 3.16, that God so loved the cosmos, God so loved the human world, the society, and God needed to hear the voice of, of earth, the voice of people. And the Holy Spirit came before the Father and argued the case of humanity before the throne of God. The disciples looked upon Jesus as the comforter. The idea was that the paraclete is another comforter sent by Jesus. In John fourteen sixteen, Jesus tells the disciples clearly that he will send another comforter after he left this world. And my friends, it's that comforter which still calls, still equips, still consoles us. The work of the Holy Spirit, as you know, I believe, is done through the gathering of the community, respectful listening, respectful discerning, and stepping out in faith as we are led by the call of Christ. God bless you.